our members are asking about when we're taking a strike vote. So again, that tells you how, how motivated they are. To Gordon Piercy, president of the Association of Allied Health Professionals, represents about 800 health care workers in about 24 different occupations. Everything from physiotherapists to pharmacists and psychologists, audiologists, respiratory therapists and more. The union was in conciliation, negotiating a new contract with government, but Allied Health has walked away. We are so far apart, like really far apart right now, to the point where we just saw no, uh, nothing productive in pursuing or continuing. The major issue, Piercy says, is how workers are classified and paid through the province's job evaluation system. He says there's a wide gap between some of his members and other health care workers with some being paid as much as $20,000 less, making recruitment and retention difficult. The union is finalizing its essential services agreement before it can take a strike vote. We do not want to take job action. We want government to be responsive, proactive. Let's not wait till this becomes a crisis and figure out how we're going to remedy this in. We are asking you, we are trying to partner with you, government, in trying to solve this. Please work with us. Meanwhile, the provincial government says it's offered the union a fair deal, one that's consistent with what other public sector unions have already ratified. Last year, nurses and teachers received a 2% raise a year over four years, signing bonuses and other improvements. Our proposal to AAHP provides generous wage adjustments, factoring adjustments for competitiveness and recognition of long service similar to or the same as those negotiated and accepted by other unions and employees. The finance minister says they've offered the union a process to change some job classifications and has asked the labour minister for mediation in an effort to avoid a strike. Allow me to say we're going to do everything that we can to not have that happen. And we're going to continue to do everything we can to not have that happen. But Piercy says they won't talk with government again until there's a more substantive offer. Heather Gillis, CBC News, St. John's.